minute of our weekly series, Am I the Bad Apple? My mind is just absolutely blown that you guys love this so much and I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know. If episode 10 is the first episode that you've ever seen, Am I the Bad Apple is a series where people send us submissions of situations or stories where they're not sure if they acted appropriately or not. We read them together, I give you guys my opinions, you tell me yours down in the comments, and sometimes we agree and sometimes we don't, but that's okay. I used to always tell my students, as long as you can back your argument up with like reasons and logic, that's just a valid opinion. Before we get started, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, hit the little bell down at the corner because we've gone on for 10 weeks, it's clearly a good series. And I want to let you guys know, I've been told on multiple platforms that it would be so much easier to send in submissions for the series if I made a subreddit. Do I know how Reddit works? No, but I'm learning. And I think I did it. I made a subreddit. It's like the little r dash am I the bad apple. Not gonna lie, it's probably gonna take a little bit for it to grow for people to realize that it's there. But it's there, so I will be checking that periodically. The emails were just getting out of control, like I couldn't see my regular everyday email. So please stop emailing me your submissions. Just go put them on the subreddit, I will be looking for them over there. And it also gives you guys a chance to like upvote and like and comment on um, possible submissions for the series. But without further ado, we're gonna get started on our 10th episode of Am I the Bad Apple? Apple number one. Am I the bad apple for wanting to celebrate parents? Online learning was hard, especially for parents. So I made a small Facebook post honoring the hard work that parents put into their kids' education. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week to all the moms and dads who are working hard to home learn. Celebrate yourself this week. I thought it was cute, but some random commented on it. Are you also gonna wish yourself a happy Nurses Appreciation Week because you sometimes take your kids' temperature and give them medicine? How could they not understand my post? And why were they so upset? So I responded back, totally different situation, but thank you for your support. However, this commenter wouldn't let up and continued on my post. I understand you're doing a lot of things and that's stressful for you, but you aren't his teacher. His teacher is doing things. You don't have to appreciate her, but please don't disrespect the entire teaching profession when it's their time to be celebrated. At this point, my sister jumped in to leave her own comment in which she said, I think you missed her point. We've become substitute teachers and I've had no choice in this. I spend 30 hours a week just getting my kid to do their homework. The commenter had something to say to her as well. And she said, I think you're both missing the point. I'm not saying being a mom hasn't become more stressful. I'm saying that this is Teacher Appreciation Week. It's a time to acknowledge teachers' hard work and teachers' dedication. All of this was thrown on them too. They've had to learn entirely new ways of doing things while many of them are also parenting and living through this pandemic as well. Instead of complaining about what we have to do or what should be done better, this is a time to recognize and appreciate teachers and this quote felt like the opposite of that. I had enough of her attitude and just to finish the conversation I said, nice of you to only show up when you have something negative to say. This was supposed to be a post to bring smiles to my friends' faces because of everything that they're dealing with right now. Shame on you. And then I blocked her so that she couldn't respond. I was tired of it. I could not believe someone wanted to turn my nice post into something so negative. My husband thinks that what I said was super bratty and sided with the commenter, but I don't think so. So am I the bad apple? I cannot stand parents like this. I can't, I, I can't do it. It infuriates me to no end. The people who like genuinely believe that they became teachers in online learning. You helping your kid with their homework or with like a math problem that they didn't get or like with just school in general is not teaching. That's called good parenting, okay? You should be checking in with your kids about their homework or things that they might not understand. Teaching is when you are given the state standards, you're given the curriculum, and you create the classwork. You create the lessons. You grade everything. Like, you're not doing that. That's what most of teaching is. 
But so many people don't understand is that actually sitting there and like teaching the lesson is such a small part of what teaching actually is. And God forbid some parents have to help their kids with homework during online learning. What did you do when they weren't in online learning? Did you just expect the teacher to like be up at all hours of the night helping your kid with homework? That's not their job. That's not in their contract. That's your job as a parent. Bad Apple, 100%. Shout out to your husband to understanding that. Apple number two, am I the bad apple for getting my kid out of detention? My wife's on a business trip, so I'm alone with our son who's almost done with fifth grade. I got a call from his teacher yesterday that he was caught using his notes on a quiz that didn't allow notes and she wanted him to stay after school for an hour for detention or whatever the elementary school version of detention is. I thought the punishment was fine, but the timing wasn't. We had reservations to have dinner with his grandmother today right after school. His grandmother's coming to town for her friend's retirement party and it's the first time we've seen her since pre-COVID. Both her and my son were really looking forward to seeing each other and she's leaving the morning after the party. It's also way too last minute to change or cancel now. I tell his teacher all this and ask to literally do this any other time, maybe before school tomorrow, lunch, or maybe even just another day. I'm refused each time and she fails to give me a good enough reason. Just that it's more effective tomorrow and that actions have consequences and he'll just have to see her next time. I tell her, sorry, but it's just not gonna work after school. She says if he's not there, he'll have to take two detentions next time. I hang up and I call the principal about it and the principal had the audacity to side with the teacher. I was infuriated. So after work, I drive to school to pick him up because like I said, he's not taking detention today. I hit the buzzer and the lady at the front asked for the reason for my visit. I panicked for a second and said, I just, I have to speak to the principal if he had time. She clicked the door open and I sped walked to my son's class. She yelled after me that I was going the wrong way, but I just ignored her and kept going. I walked in and told my son, hey bud, it's time to go. And the teacher tried to stop me. She said, you can't be in here. It hasn't even been close to an hour yet. I tell her, I don't care. I told her today wouldn't work and he'll be serving his detention tomorrow. We leave and the lady at the front just looked disgusted at me. She shook her head and just watched as we walked out. But we made it to dinner just in time. I kept my phone silent until we got home and I saw several calls from the school phone numbers and an email from the principal saying he was very unamused by my disturbance and that my son is going to need to serve his detention tomorrow. That's literally all I wanted from the get-go. I replied back with, see, it wasn't so hard to just reschedule it after all. He'll be there tomorrow. My wife thought I was out of my dang mind when I told her the story, but I didn't think it was very unreasonable. So am I the bad apple? First of all, like the entitlement of like, I know my son broke the rules, but I have things going on and can't be bothered with the fact that like he deserves a punishment. Okay, I feel like there are two parts here, right? There's like the, you wanted to reschedule detention and then there's the, what you did to get him out of detention. So like for the first part, the rescheduling detention, I don't think there's a good or bad apple anywhere in this whole thing. Like it makes sense for your son to receive the detention, right? And in no world is anyone able to just, oh, well, today doesn't work for me. Can I do tomorrow instead? Like, no, it, you're in trouble. You don't get to pick and choose, like. But on the other side, I totally understand the dad. Like, this was a family situation that was not flexible. Like, I get it. I don't think there's a good or bad apple anywhere in there. The teacher and the principal are just doing their job and like following procedures. And the dad is like genuinely upset about stuff going on with the grandma on the dinner like everyone is justified in being upset but what the dad did to get him out of detention is what makes him an extremely bad apple has it already been so long that i have to remind people about what happened in uvalde schools have procedures for like going in and out of buildings for a reason it is a safety hazard for you to go in and be like, oh, I'm here for this reason, and then just dash into the school, that could be dangerous. I know that you were just going to get your kid for whatever reason. What if you were someone that had worse intentions? You're lucky the school didn't just go on code red lockdown right there. You can't just run into a school like that. It is extremely dangerous. For you to just dash into a school like that, grab a kid and leave without showing any identification, like, you could have been a random stranger for all anyone knew. 
you didn't show an ID, you didn't prove that you were his dad. Like, do you really think that admin just knows every parent's face? There are hundreds, sometimes thousands of kids in these schools. You need to prove that you're not just kidnapping a kid. Did you really think that if you told the school, I'm here to pick up my son, they just wouldn't let him out? You didn't even try, okay? That's what makes you a bad apple for like bypassing school safety procedures and just running into a school like that. No, no. Apple number three. Am I the bad apple for calling out my daughter's bad attitude? The other day I was getting ready for work when my oldest daughter came into my room. She said good morning and we talked for a while, which was fine, I love talking to her. But then she started complaining about how she'd been up late because of schoolwork. She kept complaining about how much she didn't like the school and the teachers and I was very offended. I work at the school she attends and I didn't like her negative and ungrateful attitude. I told her this and she tried to make excuses about how the teachers views at the school were outdated and sexist. This was enough for me as I'd already told her to stop and I told her to go downstairs before she ruined my morning. My daughter started to even question my decision but I pointed to the door and said she had to leave. I thought the situation was over, but she brought it up again after dinner, saying that my comment of her ruining my morning had been upsetting. I was frustrated that she wanted an apology from me, and I told her she wouldn't be getting one because I'm allowed to say these things, and I think I should. She asked me if I would try to say it more nicely next time. This was beyond disrespectful at this point, and I told her she can't tell me how to speak, and that I would likely say it the exact same way next time. She's 17 and people don't want to be around her if she's just going to have a negative attitude all the time. So, am I the bad apple? Are you sure you're an adult? Are you positive you're the mom? Because I'm feeling one person in this story is much more mature than the other and it's not you, hon. Your daughter expressed concerns about things that she is struggling with. And you just basically told her to shut up. You didn't want to hear about it, that she couldn't express these concerns to you. You just said that being able to sit and talk with her was nice. But the moment she tried to advocate for herself and some struggles that she was having, you're like, nope, absolutely not. Do you not want your daughter to feel like she can come to you about things she's struggling with? I work at the school, those are my friends. Okay. Someone can be a nice person and not a great teacher. Like that's possible. I know plenty of them. So you kicked her out for like telling you something she's struggling with and you made a really not nice comment. You're ruining my morning. And then she tries to talk to you and says the way you phrased that really upset me and you say I can say whatever I want. Didn't you just get on her for saying something that you didn't like? Why can she not communicate her struggles but you're allowed to say whatever you want that hurts her feelings? It wasn't okay when she hurt your feelings. Why is it okay that you can now hurt hers? I don't know exactly what you're gonna say because I'm the parent. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. No, no. I don't think it's her that has the bad attitude here. I, you're definitely the bad apple. That poor girl, like she is trying to communicate in a very healthy way with you and you just, oh, I'm the parent, blah, 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 blah. I can do what I want. I hate people like that. I really do, I do. I hate that so much. Bad apple, holy moly, three in a row. Three bad apples. Let's, will number four give us some positivity? I don't know. Apple number four. Am I the bad apple for being mad my wife sent our daughter to school in dirty clothes? Ew, that's not gross. I, 35 male, am married to Sam, 32 female, and we have two daughters. My daughter Abby is in third grade and hates to read. It was really hard to get her to learn to read and she's at a point where she can read, but it's not the best. She can read fine to herself, but she struggles a lot with reading out loud. At school, her teacher does reading Thursdays where they read a book as a class. So they go around the class and all the kids each read a paragraph out loud. Abby hates this and it's a struggle to get her to school each Thursday. The teacher is older and when I brought up my concerns to her, she basically told me that Abby can't not read and won't get the points and will fail reading class if she refuses. My wife agreed with this and told me Abby needs to read in class and that's the only way she'll get better. My wife's the type of person who thinks that pushing through is the best course of action to take and 
Her dad was the same way with her and he would always just say, suck it up. So today, as it's Thursday, Abby didn't want to go to school. I saw the beginnings of a meltdown before I even went to work. I picked the kids up from school today and Abby was in dirty clothes. I don't just mean used clothes, I mean she was super muddy. I asked her what happened and she said, mom sent me on the bus like this. I was livid. I got home and told Abby to change and waited for my wife to get home. When she got there, I asked why Abby went to school in dirty clothes. She said right as the bus was going to get here, Abby decided to roll in the dirt as a way to try and get out of school. She then put her on the bus, even with Abby looking like a mess. We got in an argument with me saying, you could have gotten her changed and driven her to school. My wife said no, because she wasn't going to be late to work because Abby wanted to throw a temper tantrum. That my daughter needed to live with the consequences of her actions. The argument got more heated and she left to stay with her sister for the night. Her final words to me were, have fun getting the kids ready for school tomorrow and being late to work. I talked to my mom and she called me a jerk, but I think I'm right. She could have taken the time for our daughter. So am I the bad apple? <sighs> wow, first episode ever where we have all bad apples. What the heck? Your wife is right about everything. First of all, you're mad that the teacher is making her practice reading in class. You're mad about that? It's cause she's older. No, it's because she's a teacher. That's not like a push through, suck it up. That's like a, no, you practice the skills so you don't fall behind. There's nothing to push through on. That's like a basic classroom thing. When you learn to read, you have to read out loud. Of course they don't like it because they're not good at it because they haven't had enough practice yet. The more she practices, the better at it she'll get and then the less she'll hate it. Like that's how it works. That's something your wife understands. That's something you do not. If you were solely in charge of your kids, I feel like you would raise the most entitled brat. You don't want to do something, oh, you don't have to, it's okay. No, that's not how you parent. I don't have kids. I always make sure you all know that, but like even I know that's not how you raise kids. You just let them do anything they want all the time. Like there's gonna be some things that they have to do they don't like. Part of that is practicing reading. Second of all, yeah, I totally agree with her with the actions have consequences thing. Oh, you thought you could get out of going to school by rolling around in the dirt? Have fun being dirty all day. I know she's not gonna do that again tomorrow. Maybe that makes me evil. I don't know, y'all can let me know in the comments, but like, and I don't know what's going on with the wife's job. Maybe, like, why should she get in trouble at work because your daughter wants to have a temper tantrum like that? Because if she knows she can be late to school by rolling in the dirt, she's gonna do it again. She's gonna keep rolling in it because nothing's happening. I think that you being so mad at your wife because, like, she gives them tough love and boundaries and consequences, like, She's probably gonna be at her sister's for a while, unless you apologize. When your mom doesn't side with you, that should tell you something. What a crazy 10th episode. Four bad apples, wow. Again, that was my vote. You might have had something different, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think. One more time before we head out, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell down the bottom because we're gonna keep going. And don't forget about the subreddit we just made. It's am I the bad apple, it has a little R dash at the beginning. Again, I'm still learning how Reddit works. And last thing I promise, I know we talked about potentially doing like three stories a week, but I'm gonna be in California for a little while. I just don't have the time for that right now. But when I get back, we'll see. Okay, I'm really gonna go this time. I love you guys so much. Keep sending me your stories, especially on the subreddits, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, my lovelies. Mwah.